If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because I got a new haircut and it actually looks terrible. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've even been bullied in the school for it, so... <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff I I have to deal with behind the scenes of these videos. And on to the actual video. Alright, let's play Gmod in some weird ways. So, there are going to be three ways in which I'm going to be trying to play this. One, by using the track point on this computer, since this was meant as an enterprise slash business computer. Two, trying to use a trackpad to play it, which is probably going to be god-awful. And three, try to use Steam Link, which if you don't know what that is, that's basically like mirroring whatever Steam games you have to your phone. Well, onto that. Okay, so let's start up Steam. I'm gonna have to put the I'm gonna have to put Gmod on this screen, so I will be right back. Okay, I've got Gmod on this screen. So let's start new game. And let's just go for flat grass. Okay, we have Gmod running, so time to try to play it with a track point. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, Okay, so I assume if you're playing something like Prop Hunt or something, you should be okay with like a track point. But if you're doing stuff like Sandbox where you're spawning in stuff from the menu, then yeah, you're basically, you're basically done. You're going to need an external mouse. Okay, now that I've tried a track point, which really doesn't work for Sandbox, let me try a trackpad. Okay, trackpad, man, I've voice trackpad, it's worse because instead of like the track point where you can like move it around, touchpad is just like one flat surface, move your finger around on it to navigate. Plus, it's the same story with the track point that you can't spawn in anything. So, once again, I actually wouldn't recommend this for something like Prop Hunt, and obviously not for Sandbox, so you're definitely gonna need an external mouse if you don't have these, like, track point things. Alright. Jeez, the neighbor's dogs really do not like to shut up. Alright, so, now I'm on the part where I'm trying out Steam Link, so, start playing. This is probably gonna be inconvenient. Oh, yeah, I haven't set up this thing yet, so, let me just, just set that up, hopefully it'll connect, alright, hmm, alright, let's start playing, oh, yeah, there's some stuff I have to do on my PC, hold on, alright, so, as you could clearly tell from that, I had to do a, a driver thing update, but the funny thing is, I didn't even need to reboot my system, which it said it needed to. So anyways, let's try to start doing that, doing this. Alright, it's running. Oh, this is gonna be pretty inconvenient. Okay, so workshop stuff has loaded and my arms are... Already hurting from this. All right, Let's just load up flat grass. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so we're in the game. I can't even like walk around. It's most likely because I'm not used to the controls. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Alright, you guys probably can't see that. That's good enough. Alright. Let's just do this thing. 
And, uh, yeah, it's good if you want, like, if you get used to the controls, it should be good enough. That's at least what I think. Obviously not everybody's going to get used to it because it's just a bunch of touchscreen stuff. That's That doesn't really make it very convenient. Maybe if it was like a controller and they worked something out, it would have been great. But um, yeah, that will I'll end this video. So my overall recommendation is... If you're gonna use the track point, use it for like, oh god, that's creepy. But yeah, if you're gonna use the track point, use it for stuff like prop hunt, where you don't have to um, spawn stuff from the menus. Track pad, I wouldn't recommend that at all. Um, Steam link, get used to the controls and should be good. Uh, yeah, that'll end it for this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.